Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a little bit over two weeks since I actually uploaded a video. It's been a while since I grabbed the camera to film anything. So I just kind of wanted to let you guys know that I've decided to make myself a little challenge to upload twice a week. And I do want to have a set schedule. I want, I want to upload on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 12 o'clock. And then if I can, I'll upload a video on a Sunday. But mainly I do want to focus on Tuesdays and Thursdays because I've noticed that I have a time where I'll, I'll post constant videos and then just kind of fall off. So I'll be uploading and then just stop. And then, you know, I end up taking like little breaks here and there. And it's something that I really don't want to do. I'd rather just have a consistent schedule for you guys to kind of come and watch. But as whenever the whole daylight saving thing changes, once it starts getting darker at a later time, I'll actually be able to film during the week. Just right now, it's that by the time that I get off work, it's already getting dark and I really don't feel like filming. So I'm very limited to filming and that's only on the weekends and then some things, some weekends I actually have things that I need to take care of and then I just really don't have time to film anything. I wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on with the uh, E36. Last time, I don't, well the last video that I actually did something to the car was I think um, installing the wheels. So I ended up lowering the front, um, the front was actually lower ever since I put the wheels on. But the rear was actually a little bit too low for my liking so what i had to do was i ended up raising it a little bit more and i'm still on the fence if i want to leave it the way it is or if i want to raise it up just a tad bit more i just didn't really like that it was tucking too much tire in the back and also this is something that's gonna have to change i'm not really i mean stretch is cool i mean i know it's a stance thing but there's no need for me to be running such a stretch with when I have all this space right here to clear. So I think eventually I'm going to run a 235-40. Right now I'm running a 215-40. So <clears throat> these are the tires that came with the wheels whenever I got them. And um, obviously I'm still not running the uh, center caps because I really don't want to run them with the uh, BBS logo on there. I'm trying to figure something out. I'll order some emblems. Also, the wheels are really dirty. The whole car itself is really dirty and a whole bunch of swirl marks. Um, so I ordered some emblems for the center caps. It turns out that I measured incorrectly and I ordered the wrong ones. So the future plans for this car are to do the M3 style side skirts, rear bumper, and you guys already know I do have the M3 front bumper, but it does have some damage. And I think uh, since I am working with this company, I've decided to run their full kit, their full M3 kit, and then I'll show you guys how everything looks like once I get it on there. I want to show you guys the fitment and quality, but the M3 uh, bumper that I have on now, I think I'm just going to keep it as a spare. And also, I think I'm leaning towards, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I did want to wrap the car, but if I do have to get the bumpers and everything painted, I might as well just paint the whole car for the time being and then just maybe think about wrapping it in the future. But if I'm able to wrap the bumpers bare plastic, then I might consider a wrap. But I think the car itself looks clean as a daily. Once everything gets on there, it's going to look really good. The hood bra is going to come off once I find another hood or if I'm able to fix the hood that's on there now because it does have a dent and it does have to get painted. So all that would just kind of fall in together. I do need a... Um, new angel angel eye i'm not sure if i'm just gonna unplug them because one of them is a different color but obviously you guys know this has to get redone so that's the only thing for the uh, e36 right now the only things that are coming for it obviously the tint's gonna come off as well that thing's pretty purple now so not a pretty purple it's you know it's purple itself so it faded into a purple shade that you know i'm not really a fan of I think I'm just going to run the uh, fishbowl look for the time being and uh, just kind of maintain it, make sure that everything is running right. I do want to get some new seats for the front <laughs> and as you guys see, uh, my door panel is off again because it did start coming apart so I have to figure out and see if I can glue it together. If not, then I'll have to run the door carts which is kind of like a plain sheet metal. Steering wheel, I'm not, I'm not sure if I want to keep it. I do have another one, but I do have to clean it. So I might wait till I clean it and then I'll put it on. Well guys, I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update and walk around. I know a lot of people are here for the 335. So I just wanted to let you guys know, um, or anybody that's new to the channel that happens to stumble across this, I do have an E36 that I plan on working on or I'm working on slowly over time. So if you guys want to see more on this, do me a favor, subscribe if you haven't already. 
but I do have to go do an oil change, so um, I'll see you guys in the garage. Alright guys, so I'm back in the garage and I was supposed to do an oil change on the 335 but I wasn't able to remove the oil cap. The tool that I have wasn't really cutting it, it was actually just scratching my cap. So I'm just going to wait on the actual cap itself, the tool that I have or the tool that I need. Um, so instead of doing that, I just fixed a little couple of things on the car that I needed to or that I've been putting off. It's just minor things. My radar wasn't working properly and my black view box had actually fallen. So now everything is good i don't know if you guys ever noticed it but the box was always on the floor but i also cleaned up the interior just a little bit just vacuumed it that's all i really needed but just wanted to show you guys i don't know if some of you guys have actually seen the interior of the car but i'm thinking that i should do that in carbon fiber i think that's probably going to be next i am thinking that it needs to match that and then the door handles I, i'm not really too worried about um, if I can find them, which I think I know where to get them from, I might get them just to match everything. But I think maybe just keeping this material, and you guys will see why, you know, it'll just kind of make more sense. These are probably going to come off. If anybody's interested in these, um, let me know. I'll probably do a small giveaway for these. I think we are close to 3,000 subscribers. So once we reach 3,000, I'll give these away to wherever randomly but if you guys are interested in these let me know and um, I'll probably give them away so I know some of you guys have been thinking that I'm gonna be getting new wheels but that's actually not the case this is why I ended up removing them the tires were pretty much toast it wasn't really taking much for me to lose traction and it was actually a little bit scary if I got caught in the rain so I finally decided to take them off and I went and picked up my slog wheels so I'm running actually I'm running like a 245 40 on the back typically it's supposed to be 255 35 but this was I had these tires laying around so I might as well put them to use you can't really even tell to be honest so and they're just spares and you guys already saw it by the Instagram post I miss these wheels being on the car though the fitment is really cutting it once you're used to seeing it like this with the wheels for a year and go back to this without spacers i mean if i threw some spacers it'd be okay but i am gonna get new tires for these um, i am probably gonna have to get new tires for these as well i've noticed that they had some camera wear or toe wear i got in alignment but then again these tires were used as well and i think they already had some type of wear on them but yeah once i get new tires um, i'm gonna be putting them back on the car and then I'm considering changing the lip. I'm not too sure, so we'll see about that in the future. But other than that, I mean, everything's still the same for now. I feel like all the changes for the car are going to come almost at once for this year. Or well, maybe not at once, but there's gonna be two major changes, I guess. All the minor changes that I could do to it have been taken care of. I mean, you got front lips, Oscar extension, mirror caps, spoiler, rear bumper extensions. Obviously a hood is a big mod. It's not really expensive, but once you combine it with uh, paint in the hood, it obviously kind of, it's a little bit up there compared to like the smaller things like say, Oscar extensions or mirror caps. Well, not those, those, those are expensive. Say what? These are expensive. Uh, luckily, I didn't pay retail. I found them used for a really really good price so I like that on those well that's gonna do it for today's video guys I know it wasn't much but I just felt like I should give you guys an update by the time this video goes up it's gonna be about two and a half weeks since I actually uploaded so I'm still working behind the scenes on doing some things to this car and I'm just not really too sure when the time frame is gonna be but you know if you're new to the channel um, if you haven't already subscribe and uh, that way so you guys won't miss the changes to this car because after we get done with that we're going to focus on the e36 a little bit more but it all depends on how things fall into place um i mean who knows what's going to happen and uh hopefully nothing but good things so if you're new to the channel 
subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.